Hey guys, I want to share an awesome moment with you. So today has been a really good day despite being super busy with life, with school, with work. Two awesome things happened. So first of all, it looks like next week I'll be closing another website development deal at you know somewhere between $3,500 to $4,000 is going to be the deal size. And the way that worked is I talked to a past client of mine who wants to do a new website. She's a physiotherapist and she's moving her business from being part of a physiotherapy group to going to her own practice. So she needs a new website. It looks like it's going to be a really easy sale. It's so much easier to sell to people who have already done business with you. And I'm really excited about this. The reason is is this is the first time that I will not be involved at all in the management of the campaign. So previously, the way it would work when I sold a website is I would communicate with the client and I would talk to the client and really map out exactly what they wanted. Then I would go into Photoshop and create a mock-up of the website. And guys, I'm not a professional graphic designer. I just learned Photoshop through YouTube tutorials and all this stuff. but I still made them good enough to send to my developer who lives in South America. Then he would code the website. Uh, he'd use the WordPress content management system. He'd send it back to me. There'd be multiple rounds of revisions where I would, you know, circle things and say, hey, we need this changed and that changed. And, you know, all the time I need to be careful about how much time of his I use up because I'm paying him hourly and I got a fixed cost from the client. And you know, this back and forth, it took a long time. I was constantly going in between the client and the developer. So what I'm doing now is I have one of my local digital marketing staff. They, one of them will be the intermediary between the developer and between the client in this situation. So she is going to be doing the Photoshop mockups. She is going to be talking to the client and relaying that information to the developer. She is going to have to understand that we have to keep the developer's hours, um, you know, under a certain threshold so we still make money. And she herself will be given a hourly budget because I also can't have her spend too much time on it or the project will not be profitable. But it just feels so good to have this entire system working the client, talking to the digital marketing expert, talking to the developer, every all of which I've put together. And ultimately, you know, I am making still a good probably 40% margin on the whole thing. So if I sell the site for $4,000, which I'm hoping to, I'll probably end up paying the developer around $1,000 and the digital marketer around $1,000 and I get $2,000 just for putting the deal together. So this is when you start to see the systems of business work for you. You know, it takes a while to start seeing this happen, but once you get a taste of this, you just, you know, you can project into the future and I can just imagine what it's going to be like when I have like several hundred clients all being automated at the same time and I'm constantly just earning margins on every deal without having to actually work in the deal itself. You know, one of the best decisions I ever made was quitting my job and stopping trading my time for money because you'll never become wealthy by trading your time for money. You have to leverage your time. So this deal is really exciting to me because as you guys know, I'm in school right now. I literally have maybe an hour a day to spend on the business. So any sales I get during this time is a huge bonus. So I'm excited about that. Second big thing is that I just did a status update with one of my clients and this client of mine is a content marketing agency. So what they do is they will do your content marketing, blog posts, search engine optimization for you. So it's similar to what I do with my business in that we're both in the realm of digital marketing and I was actually running Facebook ads for this content marketing agency to help them get new clients in the real estate and financial advisory industry. And we just had our first month of results and basically they spent about $450 of ad spend on Facebook and I got them 11 qualified leads. So the lead is the name, the phone number, the email and the company website. And they've had to go from the Facebook ad to the landing page and enter all this stuff in indicating their interest in the service. Now, 
For this company in particular, their lifetime value of a client is almost $5,000. So, you know, even if, if they can close one out of those 11, they've just spent $450 to earn $5,000, which is incredible because, again, it remind, for one, I'm happy I could get them good results. Two, it reminds me of how a business can be scaled in the long term. When I think about my business, I plan to, as soon as I'm done school, start running aggressive Facebook ads for my business as well so that I can get inbound leads. Now, this company, you know, they spent $450 on ad spend. Let's assume they 10 times that. Imagine they spent $4,500 on ad spend and now they've gotten 110 leads. Now imagine that they have a full-time salesperson whose job it is to follow up with those leads. And that salesperson has paid a commission on how many of the leads convert. So now they just push a button. They say, okay, let's spend $4,000 on marketing this month. They're gonna get over 100 leads. And even if we take a pessimistic approach and assume 5% of the leads close, let's say, we'll round it down, let's say they spent $4,000, they've gotten 100 leads, and you know 5% of 100 would be five, and their lifetime value for a client is $5,000. So they will have, if they close five, that's 5,000 times five, that's $25,000, okay? So they will have spent $4,000 to make $25,000. We do have to factor in the salesperson commission. So let's say the salesperson is given, um, let's just say a $250 commission for every lead that is closed. So in that case, Five leads closed, the salesperson would have made $1,250. So still, they've now spent in total $5,500 to make $25,000, right? They've essentially generated $20,000 of net income through doing this. So they will have a cost of fulfilling the clients they get. So, you know, they do content marketing, so they might pay their writers a certain amount. So, okay, so like I was saying, I'm really excited about these two things, both because they're good for my business immediately and because I'm reminded about how scalable a business is once you figure out the foundations. I think a lot of times entrepreneurs struggle with not seeing results at the beginning. And I've been working in entrepreneurship, you know, I've quit my job, it's probably been about a year and a half now, and I still haven't achieved economies of scale yet, really. I mean, I'm making a lot more money than I did when I started, but I'm still not making quite as much money as I would be if I'd stayed in my job, actually, right? I'm still a little bit lower. What you gotta keep in mind is that it's really hard to compare working at a job versus working in a business because the growth curve of a job is linear. As you work there longer, you get incremental raises each year. But as a business, it's exponential. So once I map out my systems, once I find out how to spend $1 to make $2, I can double my profits every year, triple them. And this is when the struggle of entrepreneurship is really going to pay off. You know, the people that win in the game of entrepreneurship are really the ones that stay in it for the long term, that are resilient, that are patient. I don't know many entrepreneurs that became successful in their first two years. You know, it, from what I've observed, it often takes kind of somewhere between two to five years to really see the dividends of entrepreneurship pay back to you. The first part is honestly, it really is a bit of a struggle. But as you build these systems, then you will have success and freedom that's just completely, you know, out of the thought pattern of most people that are stuck in the rat race, stuck in the nine to five job. So really excited about those two things. At the same time, I'm just like bursting with energy and can't wait to be done school so I can just go full blast into building my business further. That's all for today, guys. I uh, wanted to share that with you as soon as it happened. Uh, until next time, see you later.